Hey guys, don't worry, it's still me. We just got rid of the fuzz. Today's video is going to be really quick and about uh, first focal plane, second focal plane scopes. I'm not going to dive into what you should buy or get really detailed, just a really quick what's the difference and why I use second focal plane. And I'll explain my reticle a bit because I've been getting some questions about, hey, when I was watching your video, you said you were holding X, but what I saw was this. Hopefully this will help you understand what I'm seeing and in general how a reticle works if you're not familiar with it. First focal plane scopes have one major advantage and that's that the reticle values are always accurate. It doesn't matter what magnification you're at. The way that it accomplishes that though is by shrinking and enlarging the reticle with the target as you zoom in and out. So if you're zoomed all the way in, everything kind of looks like a second focal plane scope would, but if you're zoomed all the way out, the reticle becomes very small. Now, to some people that doesn't matter too much, it does to me. I personally prefer a second focal plane scope. My reasoning is that I like to see that big reticle at all times, and I want to be able to change the values in the reticle. Now, what I mean by that is because the reticle stays the same size at all times, when you zoom in or out, it changes the values of that reticle. So at full power, they're all worth what they're supposed to be worth, but at half power, they're worth double, and at low power, they're worth quadruple. Confusing, but awesome. Don't worry, none. I'm explaining it. Because the reticle is a constant size and the target changes relative to your field of view when you roll through the magnifications, that's what causes the values to change. That can be confusing and make you miss a shot, or it can be awesome and help you make longer shots by making the values of each hash mark more. So you can actually shoot further than your turrets or your regular reticle would allow you to do. So to drive that point home, look at the head. At 22 power, it looks like six. And when we roll it back to half power, now we're only at three, but it's still worth six. And now we're at 1.5, but it's still worth six. Basically, what I'm saying is, if it's not gonna confuse you, a second focal plane is a better system because it allows you to shoot further without ever touching your turrets. You take that back, you don't mean it. Here's the thing though, I do mean it. If I wanted to hit this silo's buckle, and don't worry, it's my silo, nobody's gonna get mad at me. If I wanted to hit that and I was at 158 yards like I am now, and I had a first focal plane, my only real choice is to dial it because I need 35 MOA to hit it. I could hold some and dial some, but for argument's sake, let's just say the only way to get there is to dial it because there's only gonna be 20 MOA in my reticle. See that little green splotch right under the crosshairs? We're gonna hit it with just the reticle. And to do that, we're gonna have to dial to half power to double the reticle's value. We've got zero, because we're at half power. We now have 20 instead of 10. We now have 30 instead of 15. 32, 34, 35. If you don't feel like you want the flexibility of the second focal plane and you want the reliability of the first, there are some really good options. Everything from really expensive night forces down to the more affordable SWFAs. Both really solid scopes and a lot of good options in between. I'm just pointing out two that I happen to really like. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I like to dial my elevation calls, but I still need to know second versus first and how second works because that affects my windage calls as well. And whichever system you decide to use, just know your reticle well. And I highly recommend if you have one of the more budget scopes where you can't really trust those turrets too much, just use your reticle. It'll save you from re-zeroing often. I hope that you learned something and see the differences between the two and can make a choice. And now at least you know what I'm using. So if you watch my videos, it makes a little more sense as you're looking through the scope and I'm saying what I'm holding. Have a good one. I hope that you subscribe and see what we're coming out with next. Three, two. Done. Done, done.